Hi, 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 everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Moot Points. I'm Dylan. The... Where... Where's Brian? What are you doing? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, guys? I don't like this. Why am I so small? <sighs> Why am I so small? Why are you so small, Brian? <laughs> what did you do to me? Oh, man. Let's... Let... You want to just get into it? I, I, we have no other choice. Let's roll. Let's get into it, guys. We got exciting news that came just last week about Black Ops 4. Uh, we saw what's going to be in it, and there's a lot of cool content. We have a lot of multiplayer stuff, zombies, and another exciting thing to come at the end. But let's just take it slow and kind of yeah, jump piece into... Piece by piece. Let's yeah, do it. Absolutely. Let's jump into the multiplayer aspect. So we yeah. saw a really cool um, preview, trailer, whatever you want to call it. Check a piece of it right here. Brian, what do you think about it? Well, you know, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that I really just gave up on Call of Duty. Sure. Uh, it's one of the most iconic games of my childhood. I stayed up so many nights. I remember getting yelled at by my parents for waking them up when I won around uh, there, 75 to 74. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it's. It, I, I loved it, but I've been so disappointed by the, all of the last games. And I think that this multiplayer looks really promising. Looks awesome. Um, you know, I see, you see some people kind of say like, oh, it's a ripoff of Overwatch because they kind of have some heroes or a little bit like R6 because the specialists and... Get out of here. I, but like, those games are awesome. If you make a Call of Duty that takes the awesome things from awesome games and gets back to what made Call of Duty cool, I'm really excited for it. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm okay with that. What they did add was a lot of cool new features into mm -hmm. the Black Ops 4 game. Tell me multiplayer about it. Specifically. Yeah, yeah, tell me about it. Um, we have each new specialist has a unique ability. Okay. Um, I saw briefly in the preview there was a guy with a dog. There was a guy with like a thing that he slams on the ground and kills people. It's crazy. Each weapon has a plethora plethora wow. of unique attachments to go along with the unique character a lot of options here and another really cool factor is there's no more auto heal no more nothing like mm -hmm. that the only thing that there mm -hmm. is is a heal that you can do to yourself which makes it a lot more tactical and strategic the next thing is zombies and i gotta tell you the zombies looked sick there were three maps that they showed. One of them was very brief at the end, but the first one was a gladiator scene with these disgusting zombies coming at you in a like what, what Coliseum, like in the Coliseum essentially. And you have swords and it's just ancient and amazing and brutal. And just, it's so different than what we've seen before in the zombies um, in the zombie game mode. Um, and the next one that they showed was kind of a Titanic one where you're on this luxury cruise mm, ship. My understanding is it is actually literally the Titanic. The Titanic. It's not kind of a Titanic. It's <laughs> pardon me. It that, is, that's my understanding, which I think is really sweet. even cooler. Um, like actually even cooler. Yeah, the zombies has never really captured me too much in the past. Like, it's been fun when you got friends right over, there yeah. whatever. But I mean, though, whoever was making those trailers needs a raise because those trailers captivated me. So cool. So multiplayer and zombies, obviously cool. Cool. But <laughs> the coolest feature. Mm -hmm. Is what, Brian? Battle Royale. Whoa! So the Battle Royale game mode is called Blackout, and apparently it's a giant map with a bunch of redone mechanics, and it brings in all these different characters from the past games, and all these different weapons, and you can do sea, land, and air vehicles for the first time. Mm -hmm. Brian, I know you're a big uh, PUBG player or something, oh, Fortnite yeah. 2. Oh, yeah. How is this gonna compare? Like, what what can we expect? I mean, if they do this right, PUBG is just toast. I mean, bye bye. We we have seen how slow PUBG is to adapt right. to any, not just with communities requesting, but mm -hmm. like fixing issues with their games. Yeah. And I don't want to kick PUBG. Like, PUBG. One of the things that made PUBG awesome was all the bugs that they had, and it was funny to see a motorcycle go flying through the air in a way that it never could. I can or dig should. that. Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. But there was no competition. Now there's like a real studio getting involved. If they do this right, PUBG is just done. So it seems like they're actually taking it seriously, which for me as a serious PC gamer, I like to see studios take their game serious. That's yeah. fair. But guys, like we said, we're excited. I know Mewtwo, new to the studio today, is also really excited. Charizard, he's been here for a while. He's super excited. 
Let us know if you guys are excited. Tell us on Moot and we just might feature you next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for a little bit new twist on Moot Points. Today, we're going to find a post on Moot and feature it here and talk about it a little bit. This week, we have the post from Invisible Hamster. And what he's talking about, Brian, is are the Shanghai Dragons the worst team in all of sports right now? That is quite the question. That's it is quite the question. But to preface, to preface for people who may not know, mm. the Shanghai Dragons are an Overwatch League competitor. Mm -hmm. They currently are 0-31. Okay. Let me just reiterate, 0-31. And, and by 0, we mean 0. 0. So the question here is, are they actually the worst team in sports? Like, we know that we have the Cleveland Browns who went 0-16 last season. But as Invisible Hamster says... They actually put up points. They took two games into overtime. They competed. Mm. What Shanghai Dragons is doing right now is n nothing even close to competition. Uh, I mean, it's kind of sad. It is and pretty sad. They're a professional sports team, and they're literally 0-31. I don't think there's ever been a team to lose 31 games in a row. I don't know if that's a fact. That's just off the tip of my tongue. Yeah. They're probably the worst in yeah, sports. So. Like I said at the beginning of the take, submit your post. Thank you, Invisible Hamster, for submitting yours this week. And uh, if we think yours is good enough, you'll see us talking about it. So, yeah, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, that's about it for today. But before we go, you know what time it is. Oh, man, I love it. Meme of the week. Check it. <laughs> Never fails. How do Never. they come up with this stuff? Guys, man? the people of Mood are just outrageous. Check it out. You can see the links below. Also, don't forget about our PUBG event. All right, it's called hashtag my drop spot. Here's what you need to do, all right? Pick your favorite drop spot on any of PUBG's maps. You can even pick Sandhawk, the new map that's not even out yet, the 4x4 map, and tell us, pick your favorite drop spot on that map and tell us why you like dropping there. Go in there, PUBG Lounge, go in the My Drop Spot board, make a post, tell us about it, hit enter. Don't forget to include hashtag My Drop Spot in the body of your post, not the title. And uh, we'll, we got some awesome prizes for you guys too. So make sure to check the link below the video, the description of this video down, down there. there. And uh, good luck to you. And with that said, folks. What? What is happening? What did you put in the coffee? <laughs> what did you put in the coffee? Well, see you next week. <laughs>